In this video, we will study about different types of edges or edge classification when we do a depth first search of a graph. And we will see for both directed and undirected graphs. And you can see these edges in different colors. And these edges uh, have a different names. That's why they are drawn in different colors. So let's explore what are these different edges. So first we will take the more complex case that is the directed graph and here we have a notion of direction and you can see I have written this in four colors intentionally and when we do DFS we will uh, annotate the edges in these colors so first let's start a DFS so when we start DFS we will take some edges but we will not take some edges so whatever edges we take in the depth first search will become tree edge so let's start DFS from A. So we will traverse this edge. So we will come to B. And let's also use our uh, pre and post numbers that we had seen in our earlier videos. If you have not seen that, please first see that. That will be used for classifying these edges, uh, in especially in directed graph. So let's uh, continue our depth first search. So we start from here. So this gets a pre time of zero. It's not finished yet. So post is empty. We reach here at time one. Then we take this edge and reach to C at time two. From C, I cannot go to anywhere else. So we uh, we are done with this edge and this vertex. So our DFS finishes here at time 3 then we come back to its parent here also there is no other edge going out so we are done with this also we will never visit it again and uh, it finishes at time 4 then we come back to A but there are some other possibilities which we have not explored so we will take this D at time 5 then there are two edges outgoing we will take one of these first so we come to e so here uh, it will be six and from e there are a few outgoing edges but all of them are going to nodes which are already visited so these will not be part of tree edges so what will these edges be so if it's going to one of the ancestors and uh, if we are at e we have just reached e then D and A are its ancestors since DFS is still continuing from them. DFS is not finished. We don't have a post time associated with them. Whereas if you look at B and C, they are also visited, but we are done with them. There was, there is no connection between them. These are kind of parallel branches, B, C and D. So B and C are not ancestors of E, although we have visited them first. Uh, so they are concluded but A and D are ancestors of E so we are coming from there only these are in different paths you can say so this edge if it's going to ancestor we will call it MAC edge so let's draw it in blue color so this is MAC edge and what is this edge this is also going to a node which is already visited so definitely it's not part of the DFS tree so it's not a tree edge, it's not a back edge, it's called a uh, cross edge. So we will leave it as it is in this color, white. Now let's continue our DFS. So there is no other possibility to go from E. Both edges we have already classified. So we return from here at time 7. Then we come back to D. From D there is one other path which is going to an unvisited node so we will visit that and that will be the time of 8 and from here there is no outgoing edge so we are done with it at time 9 so we come back to D at D there is no other outgoing edge so we are finished with it so we will finish it at time 10 and then come back to A so from uh, A there is another outgoing edge which we have not visited but it's going to a node which is already visited so which edge is this this is definitely not a tree edge since we will not take this edge for dfs traversal this is not a back edge since c is not 
an ancestor of a uh, it's not a cross edge since uh, c is a descendant of a so here you see that parent of c is b parent of b is a so a is descend a ancestor of c that is the node which has started before it so we reached a before this node but we have not finished with yet so uh, a is ancestor of c so this edge is going to one of the descendants so this will be forward edge so let's mark it in green so what is the definition let's see again the edges which are part of the dfs tree that is the actual edges which we took to traverse or visit the nodes this is very clear then uh, if an edge is going to a node which is already visited but it's going to one of the descendants this is also going to a descendant b but this is the node actually which we took to reach b so it became part of the dfs tree so it became tree edge but it's going to a descendant uh, which we have already visited so it becomes forward edge so it may be possible that we started dfs from a but uh, this was first in the adjacency list of a this c so any of these can be the first node in the adjacency list so we will pick them first so it might have been possible that from a first we took this edge c then in that case you would have this ac would have become tree edge then from c we would have came back to a then would have taken b so if we have a forward edge u v then u is the ancestor v is the descendant and similarly we will add uv everywhere and in the case of back edge if uh, you look at this blue edge e to a then first one is the descendant this is descendant this is ancestor and if it's a cross edge uv then they are not descendant or ancestor of each other for example e to c c is neither ancestor nor descendant so uh, what we can say about the edges in terms of their pre and post timings so this finishes at time 11 so uh, now let's see the timings for all the edges so tree edges uh, in this case uh, we will have uh, what is the pre time of u so a uh, pre u will be less than a uh, pre of v will be less than post of v will be less than post of u so you see that pre u started first and ended in the end and in between this v uh, we visited and also returned from there so this is the ordering for tree edges for forward edges what will be the ordering again it will be same same as this tree edge but we know the difference when we do dfs so what will be the code of dfs let's write uh, dfs of s so we marked it as visited and then for all u adjacent to s if not visited u then we had done dfs u so here we know that s is the node which is currently the current node we are currently at s and we are looking at all the outgoing edges and whichever is going to a node which is not visited let's say this is visited but this is not visited so we will take this edge and start dfs from here so we know what is the edge here so here the edge will be here the edge is su so when we are starting this dfs we can also print or if we are uh, adding it in a list or a vector we can say print uh, su is a 
triage so this we can classify while doing dfs itself we don't need pre and post numbers for this so that's clear this relationship will be same for tree and forward then let's come to back edge so u is this one and v is this one since here direction is important so uh, here pre of v will be less than pre of u will be less than post of u will be less than post of v so here you see the relationship has changed pre v and post v is first and last and u is in between so there is a change of relationship and then what is about cross edge so if you see cross edge this edge so this will be u here and this will be v so a uh, start or here pre pre of v will be less than post of v will be less than pre of u will be less than post of u so we had only confusion between these two since they had same relationship but we know that this we will not use these pre and post numbers this we will mark while doing dfs itself so this is done and if this is the relationship then we will mark it as forward if uh, we have opposite relationship we will mark it as back edge or if uh, this is the relationship here you see that v is together v comes first then u comes so you see these are separate and we had seen that these are separate branches these are not ancestor descendant so this kind of edges will become cross edge now let's see the case of undirected graph so here we have just two edges since there is no notion of uh, direction here we will start dfs from here we will go to one of the edges we came this way we came this way then we came from here there are there is one edge going to a visited node so this we will mark it as back edge then this we will take since it is going to unvisited again it's going to a visited node so it will be back edge then we will come here and then we will come here so this is uh, the classification of edges in undirected graph so here what is uh, it's very simple here it we don't need uh, pre and post numbers if we visit any if we encounter any node which is already visited we will mark that edge as a uh, back edge but uh, we have to keep track of parent node this is very important here so let's say we are at a node u so we might have come to u from some node v and uh, there are some other edges coming from some other nodes or it's going to some other node let's say k so when we are at u we will see that we came from v only so definitely there will be one edge always going to v so this is already marked as tree edge so we will check that if uh, an edge is going to a node which is already visited then we will mark it as back edge unless that node is its parent so if it's parent we will not mark it as back edge it will be the tree edge we came from there so from a we go to b so a is the parent of b and from b we will also have this a in the adjacency list so we will see that this edge is going to a visited node but a is a parent of b so we will not mark it as back edge this will remain tree edge and similarly here so that was uh, the edge classification in different uh, graphs on directed and undirected graphs hope you enjoyed this in the next video we will uh, try to calculate it using code